Hey guys, Colleen here at DIYR behind LemonThistle.com and today I am excited to be back with my friend Alexis from Persaloo for another Silhouette vs. Crooked Challenge. In these videos, we each take on the same challenge and we test out our machines and the software just to see what they can do, see the limitations and how they compare to one another. So I am Team Cricket. For this video, I'm using my new mini cute little Cricut Joy and Alexis is Team Silhouette. And the challenge that we are taking on today is the software itself. So I am gonna be working in Cricut Design Space, Alexis is gonna be working in the Silhouette software, and our challenge specifically is making monograms within that software. Now this is something that neither of us have ever done. We were talking about it on the phone and we're like, I guess we could use font, we could use images. So we're gonna play and we're gonna see what we can create in the software. I'm gonna show you how I would normally do it, how I think is probably the easiest way, and then I'm gonna show, challenge myself to maybe try a couple different ways and just see what works. So before we get into it, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would so love if you did that below so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. All right, so the most of this video is going to be screen share here in Cricut Design Space. Uh, this is the program that all Cricuts that don't use cartridges, so the really old models of Cricuts use cartridges, anything new uses Cricut Design Space, which you can download onto your computer as a software and uh, yeah, so that's what I'm using. So I opened a new project and I'm going into images. The first thing I wanted to do is see what Cricut Design Space had already for monograms. And you can see that green little flag that says an A on the side there. Those are all Cricut Access images. Cricut Access is a subscription service in Cricut. And so then if you, it's really affordable, but if you subscribe, then you have access to any of these files, so I am subscribed, so I'm gonna try out a couple of those. There are also some free files that you don't need to be subscribed for, and they would just say free on there. And then there are some files as well in Cricut Design Space that you have to pay for above and beyond Cricut Access, and a lot of those are licensed images, so like Disney things or other things like that. So I looked through, there are so, I didn't even get to the bottom. There are so many choices that you can choose from. Um, I chose a few, you can choose a bunch and they'll show up down at the bottom here, right beside insert images. And if you want to, like if you see one that you like and you're like, that's not the right letter, but I really love that style, then you can click on the eye on that image and go to the entire image set. So I've done that here to add the right letter for myself. Even as you're jumping back between those screens, between the specific image suites, and then back to your image search, all the ones that you click on will show up at the bottom here. So you can select more than one and insert them all at one time. You don't have to go back in and find where you were scrolling, which is nice. Okay, so I wanted to do this way first because this is the very easiest way that I could think of to make yourself some monograms using your Cricut in Cricut Design Space. And depending on which files you choose, I wanted to give you kind of a variety. That M there, that monster M, is a draw file. You could change it to a cut file, but it's gonna cut all those little lines. Um, so that is perfect. I'm gonna put it on a card for my nephew whose name starts with an M and he can kind of color it if he wants to. There's other ones that are multi-layer cut files and so both the Mermaid and the Tropical V are those. So you could turn off one layer, you could turn off all the layers except for the very top one or the very bottom one. Whatever you choose, I mean this is just the very simplest way to make a monogram using Cricut is to use the ones that they have already designed for you and given you access to in Cricut Design Space through Cricut Access or through the freebies. I did just want to make note that I have my Cricut Joy selected up on the top right. You can see that it says Joy there instead of my maker. And by selecting my Cricut Joy, you are gonna notice that when I insert a lot of these files, they're coming in with a big exclamation mark in the layer panel. And that just means that they are too big to cut with the Cricut Joy because the Cricut Joy has a smaller cut area than the larger machines. So there's nothing wrong with the files. That is just because I'm using a smaller machine. It's saying, hey, make it smaller. 
The next way that I wanted to try and make a monogram is something that I have done in the past or will do. Um, I do this with my kids' water bottles to label them. I will link that tutorial down below. But is take a picture from Cricut Design Space and take some text from Cricut Design Space and to attach them together into one pretty little monogram. So this unicorn here, I really like to try to to simplify it and move it around the M and that wasn't working for me. So instead, I just made it all one color. I made it all black and I sized that M right down into the unicorn's body. And then to attach it together so it all cuts in one cut file, I used the weld button. So weld, which is at the bottom of your layers panel there, that will attach the M and the unicorn design into one thing. Once it is attached, with the weld button, not attached, I shouldn't use that word. Once it is welded, it moves around as one piece and it, like you can't um, them separately from the unicorn. It will cut out the M and the unicorn so that they're stuck together. It won't cut out the M as a separate piece within that unicorn. So just keep that in mind. Um, once you do that, it's all one file. All right, so next I thought I would try to find a badge or a crest, like the background from a monogram, and I had a really hard time figuring out what that was called. So I just went back and searched monogram and I used that most basic one there. But I mean, you could really make a monogram out of any of these shapes. I just wanted to keep it simple for the sake of this video. And see, I went in and I tried to find if it was part of a set that had a lot of monogram backgrounds, but that was not the case. It was part of a Christmas set, so I just went with this one. And then I went into fonts, and we did a whole video about using fonts. I did mine with Cricut, and Alexis did hers with Silhouette. So if you are interested in fonts, you can go watch that video. I'll link it below. But fonts function the same way as images in Cricut Design Space in that some of them are included, some of them are included with Cricut Access, and some of them are an additional fee. Now, just like images, um, and fonts, you can also upload your own. So you can choose to use your own fonts within Cricut Design Space so you don't have to pay for their fonts if you don't want to. Just like you can use your own images by uploading them into Cricut Design Space if you don't want to pay for their images, which is what you would do if you get a free printable from another blog. And I'll go into that later because that's how I would typically do a monogram is I would design it myself and then upload it into Cricut Design Space. Okay, so I've put this badge down. This is the background for one of my monograms. So I'm gonna go over here to my text and I'm gonna write a letter. Okay, and so then once I got a font that I liked with the A, I wanted to cut it out of the same thing. So I just wanted to have this to be a one layer cut to make a really easy label. I didn't want to have to like stack different vinyls or papers on top of one another. So to do that, I, selected both of my layers and I used the slice tool which again is at the bottom of the layers panel on the right hand side here and so the slice tool will cut the one image stacked on top of the other image out of the bottom one and you will finish with three different layers so I just go ahead and I delete all the layers that I don't need leaving the one where it's the sliced result and it has the letter cut out of the badge all right and then you can resize that so it's ready for cut Next up is this modern botanical monogram that I am making using these leaves. And I've actually used these leaves for another project that I haven't shared yet on my blog. I'm excited to, it turned out so pretty. But basically I just wanted to have three different colors of botanicals and just overlap them and then put a big bold sans serif monogram on top of them. And so then since I want to cut those out of different materials, I don't want to attach them or weld them. I just want to group them together so that as I resize them and move them around, they're going to stick together in the canvas here. But when I go to make it, they'll cut on different colors. Okay, last but not least, I wanted to show you how I would typically make a monogram if I would draw it out myself on my iPad or design it in Photoshop, whatever. I would probably draw it on my iPad like I did here. So I just drew this and then I'm uploading it into Cricut Design Space using the upload function. 
saving it as a cut image, and then inserting it onto my canvas. Now, if this is something that is new to you and you want to learn more about it, I have a whole video about how to upload your own images in the Cricut Design Space that I will link below. So I won't go too slow on this right now, but because this one I wanted to have two separate layers for, and I have them saved as PNG files instead of an SVG because an SVG is more time consuming to make and this is just for me. I don't need to make it all fancy. So I have uploaded the two images separately as cut images and I'm gonna layer them on top of each other. Now, since I don't want to cut both the inside and the outside line on this badge, after I size it down, I'm going to use that contour tool. And on the contour tool, you can click on lines to erase those cut lines. So I'm going to do that on the inside line so that it is only cutting out the outside line of this design that I have drawn on my iPad. And then after that, I can recolor it however I want, shape it together, and then again attach it so that they stick together as we're moving things around on our canvas to get the sizing that we want. Okay, so for the last example, I drew this one on my iPad as well. And this is a design that I've actually made in the past um, that I wanted to just recreate to show you how that was done. But... I didn't love it as much as I loved my old one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my old one in here. <laughs> but so you can see, I tend to design things outside of design space and then bring them into Cricut Design Space just to cut them out. So if you had just drawn that leaf, then you could go ahead and you could use, again, a sans serif font just to overlay over that and then weld it together to create one cut file, which is what I did using my older Monstera leaf design that I liked better <laughs> and then we can cut it out okay so I took those monogram designs that I made in Cricut Design Space and I cut them out and other than this Monstera C that I put on my clipboard the rest of them I used to make cards that we can send to people while we're at home right now and so I did this a few different ways I wanted to show how to layer cardstock and I just do this using double-sided tape from the dollar store and I did this as a combination of cardstock and vinyl and then I also did some there's that foil acetate which is the polka dot shiny with vinyl on top and then I did the unicorn note card using vinyl on the note card and then lastly that drawn one with the Monster M I used using the pen tool with the Cricut Joy. A few different styles of cards really quick all squeezed into one little video about how to make monograms using Cricut Design Space. I know that there are probably 50 other ways to do this. I just wanted to go over the few that immediately came to mind and that I found both the easiest and the most helpful for me as a designer that uses Cricut Design Space. If you have any other ways that you love to use Cricut Design Space to make monograms, to make cards, or whatever, drop them in the comments below and share with everybody else. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. And as always, if you'd like to be notified of new videos, make sure to hit that bell. If you guys have any requests or suggestions on topics that you would like to see us cover in these Cricut versus Silhouette videos, make sure to drop that in the comments below. We'll see you guys next time.